guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to episode 6 of Star. so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, there we go. Let me try one more time. Okay, we're good. I just needed to upload so I can watch this, and that's a yo. Take a shower, change, and then go out. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Yeah. No, I think they're being really serious about me. I mean, you could go in there and just talk and be yourself, but they could be a little bit afraid of you, but it really just depends on how you really interact the situation. It's okay. It's okay. Different fathers. Different fathers. Yes. Go on. She's pretty though. Really, bird? You think that's gonna scare somebody? What? What was that? What was that? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, but even if you decide to go to another school, you know... The same thing could happen over and over again, and then you're going to have no other place to run to. Yeah.
<laughs> yeah, you might as well. So that you can have more friends besides Haru and Jack and Louise. I mean, because think about it. Is he friends with anybody else in this group? Probably not. Like Yeah, do you really want another attack? Mm. Okay, the hell? Maybe it's like a place where you can't get certain things at the grocery store or something. I don't know. Ah, uh, so pretty. <laughs> well, honestly, I'm getting kind of a European Paranesian vibe. Oh, nice thing. Not really in New York City, though, but just like the way the town was. Gives me a lot of parents' vibes. Mm. Mm. Yeah, nothing happened or anything. Basically, outside of school is utopia. Inside of school is just like, I, I don't know. Too much drama in school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think you two wouldn't be talking around right now? Maybe. We'll just have to wait and see. But you're still going to need friends. How the hell you get lost? Okay, hold up. Why in the world did you lose Zuzu Maps? You should have used your Zuri. And used the maps on your phone. Y'all in the tent. Bruh, mm -mm. No, thank you. Just, you know, back away slowly. I'll plug your nose back away. And push it. Oh. Say no to drugs.
You're funny. You're funny. You're funny. <laughs> Yeah, because in a way, you guys are Judy Hops and uh, what was the freaking Fox's dog? Uh, Fox's name is Utopia, like Nick or some ish or something like that. Are you serious? Are you really that desperate? This isn't for you, though. Yeah, but not, like, go inside of the dark market and buy something. Don't go and take, like, what, 70 bucks just to eat somebody's finger? It's a little too desperate now. Not food. Just a friend, but food at the same time, right? You know. Oh, baby. You, you know, you could just become a vegetarian. Oh, God. Because you want to eat her. And you're hungry. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, God. He's about to kill you. I think so. Oh, you're a panda! Badass panda. He never did. Hmm. No, he's not ready in him. Well, as far as we know, because he could have ate dude at the beginning of the day, serious. We don't even freaking know. <gasps> oh God, he he is right on the money with you, my boy.
Hmm. And he might be good for you. Now, see, my question is, has he ever had anyone who's possibly, he, he's been able to help, and they've been good, but it seems like anyone who's on that wall, those are all his failures, and Legacy could possibly, maybe, be his only true successor who's been a success. Even though we're only on this episode, who knows how far he's possibly gone. But there's no way in the world where you can still kind of have a relationship with him, I mean with her, and still want to eat her at the same time. Something about that, it, it, it's horrible. <laughs> you know, even if he possibly has the portal magazine, he's still gonna obsess over Haru. Well, he was nice though. It makes you wonder about Bill and the other guy. They probably can throw with it. Hi, Dusty.
I mean, the only thing that I can really say about it is not only is there is temptation everywhere in the world, even in today's standards, there are temptations like everywhere you freaking go. But I feel for both of them. And it, it is sad. Imagine being someone who does eat meat. Like I eat meat. I do. But thinking about it at the end of the day, yeah, that's an animal and you're killing, you're eating a living thing and stuff like that. But I can only really tell them is to try. Don't try eating someone who is your friend. Try maybe a different lifestyle, whether it is a vegetarian. I mean, you never know a wolf eating plants. They could eat veggie burgers and mashed potatoes and broccoli, um, tofu. I don't know. But I mean, for him to still want to try to have a relationship with Haru, but then still his feelings of wanting to eat her. It is different. It is a little strange. Even ever since the sh I started watching this show. But I want him to at least try and to not immediately, when he has something, when he's craving it, that's when he needs to eat something else. I don't know. Not no damn me. Eat like a carrot or something. And just pretend, <laughs> do it like when you on a diet and you really want a cheeseburger, you get something and you're like, mm, yeah, that's the greatest cheeseburger I've ever had. Even though in your mind it ain't no freaking cheeseburger, it's a freaking broccoli. You just gotta sit there and pretend, yeah, it's the cheeseburger. All right, some french fries is something that I really, really want. Mm hmm yeah, it's Haru, you know, eating bunny meat or like whatever. I don't know, but like, it, it, I, I feel bad for him. Now, I mean, this therapist panda guy... Um, I hope we get to see him again. He seems very interesting, but I, I really hope that Legacy could be the thing that he's looking for. Because when I saw that wall, and you see these pictures of, like, people, other animals being stressed, either possibly cutting off their own limbs and eating it to the point where the hair falls out and... It, like, to me, that gave me feelings of, like, you know, when you watch, like, a crime show or something, and you see so many different pictures on the wall, and it's, like, people of, uh, this is how you know the key terms of, like, when somebody's on, like, a really good drug, whether it's crack, cocaine, um, meds, whatever type of drug, and you see those signs and how eventually they're going to look like from beginning to end from when they start using that drug up to the point where they're possibly going to die, essentially, and how they see the signs and everything and sometimes you know it could be too late by the time you can really help a person and I do hope that if he does come back maybe not in the following couple of weeks maybe like four weeks later like what what is this episode six and I think this is 12 episodes so maybe like nine or ten so maybe two three weeks later from this episode I want Legacy and maybe um Abba to go to a um a rehab class you know how it's like where it's like hi my name is such and such and I've been it's been 21 days since I last had a drink or since I've last had drugs and stuff like that a real uh real a rehab facility and to just find skills and use them in the real world because since they're at this school they are in a bubble yes there's still you know temptation inside of that school of eating another living thing or sleeping with someone and such. I mean, because Bill, you know, Bill didn't have to sit there and talk about the freaking virginity thing. I mean, you know, Legacy don't want to talk about that. That's none of his damn business. Like, if Legacy don't want to talk about that, get the fuck over it, move on, go on to something else. But they are, they're sheltered. Even though, yes, they see things on television, just like, you know, when little kids are going to school. And eventually, like, if something traumatic happens somewhere else... Um, cause like I can use it from my experience from when I was a kid and when, um, 9-11 happened, my teachers, what they did is they had the turn, they turned the TV on and they had the kids watch that. It is traumatizing the kids, but then at the same time, when you are like a teenager, possibly even a college student, you need to know these, like the changes are like the good and bad things that are happening into the world. But they are shielded from the outside world and seeing these four go out into the world and seeing how the world truly is and how there is temptation everywhere you turn. How this man was wanting to give up seven, like set his fingers for money. That, like, to me, that is so freaking desperate. I'm like, if you are, like, 
that much that you can't literally say, oh, I don't want it. Like, Bill, I, I like, I, I, I still don't know how to feel about him. I don't necessarily like him. He's not one of my favorite characters. Some of the things he, he just, he doesn't think about it. I know animal blood, especially herbivores, are, is a drug to you. And you need that drug. And how someone is like, yeah, go ahead and take my fingers. I don't care what you do. 70 bucks for each finger. How many fingers did you want? And the fact that he was so desperate to literally eat someone's fingers and to split it with them. And the fact is, out of the four, like, once Legacy left and there were just those three, I was like, okay, are they really going to go through with this? And the fact is that later on in the episode, Alva didn't go through with it because if he, he thought about everyone else and he considers them just as human as him. But it makes wonder. Bill and the other guy, they were the only other two who weren't there waiting for Legacy. So here's the question. Did they possibly go through with it? Knowing in my case with Bill, possibly yes, he did. Because he is so desperate. With the fact that he showed that animal blood, that little small vial to Legacy during the theater, I feel like that that's how far he'll go. He'll do anything to have a taste. Um, but the other two, Legacy and Elba, like, they're, they're not going to try. They now look at people, they look at the food, like, they're friends, not as food, but as friends. It's going to take, it, it's like a drug. It, it, you know, they're addicted to it. And there are going to be good days and bad days. And in a way, this was a bad day. But who knows what might happen next week. You never really, truly know. And I, you just have to take it one step at a time. And that's what they're going to do. And I just hope that it, it's going to be okay. But yes, in a way, he needs to stay away from Haru. Or, I mean, you can kind of have a friendship with Haru, but that's it. You can't go anything. You can't have sex with her. Besides, she having sex with Louise. So you can't do anything about that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 6 of Beastars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. From the Mattress Squad, and of course, I will see you guys for sure next Saturday for episode 7. Bye, guys!